Hello tech learners, welcome back to the matrix series. In the previous lesson, we had seen the consistency of system of simultaneous linear equations. So how we can test the consistency using the matrices and we have seen the rank method. So this was the uh, system of linear equations and we had seen that it could be consistent with unique solution whenever rank of A is rank of C is N. With infinite solution, rank of A is equal to rank of C should be less than N and will have inconsistent with no solutions whenever rank of A was not equal to rank of C. There, uh, the matrix A was the matrix of coefficient and C was the augmented matrix and N was the number of unknown variables into the system of linear equations. So, let us solve an example today and we will do all these three cases one by one, case one, case two and case three. So, let us start today with case one where the system of linear equations would be consistent with unique solutions. We need to identify this and we will take one example for that. So let us see this example. Uh, we have a system of linear equations x plus 4y plus z is 5, then 3x plus y minus 2z is 9 and 4x minus 5y plus z is equal to 2. We need to test this system of simultaneous linear equations for the consistency using matrices and using rank method. So first of all, we will write the matrices. So we will write the matrix A which is the matrix of coefficients. Here we will have 1, then we have 4, then we have 1. From the second equation we have 3, this is we have 1 and we have minus of 2. For the third equation we have 4, we have minus of 5 and we have 1. So this is the matrix A. We also write the augmented matrix that is matrix C. So here uh, we will use this coefficient matrix and we will add one more column into this. So this will be 1, 4, 1 and here it is 5. Then this is 3, 1, minus 2 and here it is 9. Then we have 4, minus 5, 1 and here it is 2. So this becomes the augmented matrix. Now we will find out the rank of this augmented matrix and rank of A by converting this matrix into the upper triangular matrix. So I have already made the videos uh, what is upper triangular matrix and how to convert into upper triangular matrix and how to find out the rank of a matrix. So if you want to deep dive into this, uh, I will suggest you, you can go into the uh, channel playlist and then watch those videos. Although we solve this uh, here completely, so you can uh, watch it here as well. So we will be using this matrix C and first we will convert this into upper triangular matrix and find out the rank of both the matrices from only this one. So let us uh, write this C here on top. So this is C and what will be the uh, diagonal, leading diagonal in this? So this is the leading diagonal. Uh, we know the leading diagonal uh, is with elements which are having the same indices. So this is 1 comma 1 in first row, first column. This is 2 comma 2, second row, second column and this is 3 comma 3, third row and third column. Now just to convert this into upper triangular matrix, we need to convert these elements to 0. So we have to convert this into 0, this into 0 and this into 0. And we will start from the first column then we will convert this, then this and then this into 0. So just to convert this element into 0, uh, this 3, we will perform the operation from row number 1. So what we will be doing is, uh, the first operation, uh, let me write the operation first. So here it will be, we will perform R2, we will perform R2 minus 3 R1. Because it is 3, if we will multiply this 3, so 3 minus 3 would be 0. So let me write the matrix after performing this operation. First row would be same, 1, 4, 1, 5. Uh, second row, this second row will get changed, 3 minus, so let us let me write it here, this is 3 minus 3 into 1, 3 minus 3 into 1, this is 0. Now for the second, we have 1 minus 3 into 4, so this is 1 minus 3 into 4, so 3 4s are 12, 1 minus 12 will be a minus of 11. The next element is minus of 2, so it is minus of 2, then minus 3 into 1. So, this element is 1. So, this will be minus 2 minus 3 which is minus of 5. Now, for the last element, this would be 9 minus 3 into 5. So, 9 minus 3 into 5. 3 into 5 that is 15. Minus of 15 and 9 will be a minus of 6. The last row, we will write it same. So, this is 4 minus 5, 1 and 2. Now, in this matrix, uh, we will perform the next operation just to convert this element into 0. For that, the operation would be R3 and we will subtract minus of 4R1. So, you can see this is 1. If we will multiply it by 4 and we will subtract, so this element will become 0. So, let me rewrite the matrix. So, here we can say this is 1, 4, 1, 5 will remain same. The second row 0, minus 11, minus 5 and minus 6 will remain same. The last row will change. So, we will do the first operation here. So, this is 4 minus 4 times of 1, 4 minus 4 times of 1 which is 0. In the second case, so we have minus 5 minus 4 times of 4. 
So 4 4s are 16, minus 16 and minus 5, minus of 21. In the third case, this is 1, minus 4 times of, this is 1. So this is minus of 4, 1 minus 4, which is minus of 3. In the last place, this is 2, minus of 4 into 5. So this is 4 into 5, 5 4s are 20, and minus of 20 plus 2, which is minus of 80. So you can see we have converted this here. Uh, and now the next uh, purpose is to convert this element into 0. Now just to convert this element into 0, we will perform operation with the second column. So here the, I want these two elements to be, uh, like we can say we make them same or similar. So just to make these two elements similar, the simplest method is we will multiply this row by this element, which is actually 21. And we will multiply this row by this element, which is actually 11. So we will see by doing this, these two elements will become same. And then we will be able to subtract and convert this into 0. So now first let us perform these two operations. This operation is actually uh, 21 R2 and this is actually 11 R3. So let us uh, rewrite the matrix by 1, 4, 1, 5. So in this we have to multiply with 21. So this will remain 0 and here it is 21 into 11. So let us do it 21 into 11, uh, 1, 22 and 26. So this becomes uh, 2, 3, 1 minus of 2, 3. 1 and then minus of 5 into 21 which will be 5 and 5 twos are 10. So minus of 105. Then next is minus of 6 into 21. So this will be minus of 6 ones are 6 and 6 twos are 12. Minus of 126. In the third row 11 into 0 will be 0. 11 into minus of 21 will be minus of 231 and 11 into minus of 3 which is minus of 33 and lastly we have to do uh, 11 with minus of 18. So this will be 88 and 11 ones are 11, 198. So this is minus of 198. Okay. So we have got these two elements similar. Now what we can do is we can simply uh, perform R3 minus R2. So just by doing this, let me write the operation here and uh, convert this. So the next operation would be R3 by R3 minus R2. Okay. So first row will remain same. This is 1, 4, 1, 5. The second row will remain same. This is 0, minus 231 minus 105 and then minus of 126. Then the third row would be, uh, we have subtracted. So this is 0. The second element would be 0 because minus 231 minus minus 231. Next is minus 33 minus minus of 105. So actually this is uh, 105 minus 33. So this becomes 72. Okay. And the last one is minus of 198 minus minus of 126 so which is actually uh, minus of 198 and plus 126 so this is uh, 8 minus 6 2 9 minus 2 72 so we can see here also we have minus of 72 so you can see this matrix has been converted into the upper triangular matrix because uh, we have done below diagonal all the elements as 0 so now this is an upper triangular matrix. Now we can see that this C has how many non-zero rows? We have three non-zero rows, one, two, and three. So the rank of matrix C comes to be three. Okay. Now from this C, we'll extract the matrix A. If you'll see, the first three columns are giving us the matrix A. So we'll extract matrix A from this. So matrix A that has been converted into upper triangular matrix is one, four, one, zero minus 231 minus 105 0 0 and 72 so this is matrix a now what is the rank of matrix a here we can see the rank of matrix a also three because how many non-zero rows we have we have one non-zero row two non-zero row and three non-zero row. so we have three non-zero rows okay so uh, rank of c is three rank of a is three and number of unknown variables we have one two and three so this becomes the case number one where we have rank of A is equal to rank of C which is equal to the number of unknown variables. Hence, our given system will be consistent with unique solution. So, our answer is the given system is consistent with unique solution.
and if we want to find out that unique solution then we can uh, perform backward substitution from here and then we can find out the values of uh, z, y and x. So let me do that and find out the unique solution as well. So uh, if you want to know how to solve the simultaneous linear equations, I have already made a video on how to solve simultaneous linear equations using matrices. You can watch that video in detail. Uh, let us solve this. So we uh, rewrite the equations from this augmented matrix. So the first equation would be x plus 4y plus z is equal to 5. The second equation would be from here minus of 231 y minus of 105z is equal to minus of 126 and the third equation from this would be 72z is equal to minus of 72. Now we use the backward substitution, uh, we will solve from equation number 3, 2 and 1. So we will solve this equation first. So we can see from this third equation 72z is minus of 72, we can see that z is minus of 1. So this is z. Now we will substitute this z back into equation number 2 and solve it for y. So next is minus of 231 y minus 105 into minus of 1 is equal to minus 126. This is minus of 231 y and this minus minus plus and we will send it to that side. So this will be minus 126 minus of 105. So this is minus 231 y will be equal to 5 and 6, 11, 2 and 1, 3 and this is minus of 231. So here we can say uh, y is equal to 1. So we can see y is equal to 1. Now we will substitute this y and z back into equation number 1. So the equation number 1 would become uh, x plus 4 into 1 on place of y, we have 1, then plus z, in place of z we have minus of 1, so we will simply write minus of 1, this is equal to 5. So we can see 4 into 1 is 4, 4 minus 1, that is 3, so we have x plus 3 is 5 and from which x comes to be 2. So we can see this is the unique solution of the given system of equations, where we have got x as 2, y as 1 and z as minus of 1. So this is how we test the consistency of simultaneous linear equations using matrices, using grand method and how we can solve them if they are consistent with unique solution. In the next example, we will take our second case where the equations are consistent but they have many solutions and we will also solve those many solutions as well.